My, 23M, mother, 51F, thinks I owe her for raising me. She basically wants me to be her parent now and is acting like the most spoiled child on the planet. I am absolutely through with being my mother's servant. Her belief is that because she raised me and took me on all kinds of adventures as a kid, I now need to do the same for her. She is the kind of woman I could do 99 things for and she'd get really upset over the one thing I didn't do. This stems from decades of neglect, she was neglected as a kid and neglected by her husband, who died a few months ago. So it's all on me now. My parents were in an unhappy marriage for years until my dad passed away a few months ago. Since then, she's become pathologically dependent on me. Ever since I was 20, she's depended on me emotionally, and COVID and dad's death made everything a million times worse. It's got to the point now where she basically expects me to be her court jester, going so far as to guilt trip me when I have work to do and don't have time to run around catering to her every need. I do 90% of the chores because of her arthritis as it is, which I'm now beginning to wonder if she's actually milking, exaggerating because she's too lazy to do any jobs herself. But her reasoning is that she did all this for me as a kid. Now I need to look after her in return. Before dad died, I was always dragged into their arguments from her and made to take her side. If I didn't take her side and give dad a good talking to, she would get extremely nasty. If I did oblige and give dad a good talking to, she'd tell me it wasn't enough. This was based on the reasoning that she helped me out as a kid when I was being bullied, now I need to do the same for her. Since dad died, she has done nothing to look after me. She only cares about herself. She has said her needs matter too, but she's actually completely disregarding mine. When I woke up in the night having an asthma attack and barely able to breathe, I got in trouble for scaring her and waking her up. Exclamation mark. She never used to be like this growing up. Growing up, I came first always. She even once caught Noro to sit by my side and make sure I was better. But now she thinks now that I'm an adult, I should do the same for her. And now that it's her birthday approaching, she's acting more entitled than ever. She has spent three hours guilt tripping and shouting at me because I haven't done enough for her birthday. I basically haven't mentioned her birthday enough. She's acting like a complete six year old about her birthday. I've only gone and gotten her a cake, card, loads of presents and organized a gathering which is not easy to do in COVID. And she still had the nerve to tell me it wasn't enough because I didn't organize anything for the evening. This is because she did all those birthdays for me. But nobody ever did any big birthdays for her. And because she had the trauma of COVID and losing her husband, she deserved a bigger birthday than ever this year. Never mind the fact I lost my father and everything I had going in my life. Trying to reason with her is impossible, she will play any card to shut me up and invalidate how I feel. She even said I was being selfish for not doing enough for her birthday. I have sacrificed my social life, my job, my independence my freedom and my goddamned happiness for the woman for most of this year. I've spent what must be 1000 hours catering to her every need while she's done shit all for me this year. And she says I'm selfish. What a fucking cheek. I'm starting to wish she hadn't done all that stuff for me as a child if she expected me to repay her when I was an adult. Oh and she's extremely irritable too and will often have a huge tantrum at me over minor inconveniences. She's also totally unable to look after herself. I even have to to look after her car. What do I do? She has me round her finger and at 23 I have no clue how to deal with a narcissistic parent. Too long didn't read, my mother, once the source of inspiration and motivation, is now expecting me to repay her for all she did for me as a kid, especially since my father died. She had multiple huge tantrums at me over her birthday even though I gave her loads of presents and arranged for her friends to visit slash raised by narcissists. My mom has the same mind frame where she expects me and my brothers to take care of her when she's older. It's such an abusive way of thinking. People shouldn't be having children for them. We didn't ask to be born. We definitely wouldn't have asked to be born if we knew the real reason behind why. People should have children to give their child the best life they can without expecting anything back. What do I do? Move out. If it doesn't stop, go no contact. You can't control what she does, but you can control what you do. Fuck move out and get away from her, hold her at arm's length. She seems to me like she is a black hole that takes everything and gives nothing back. 
my mum is the same. Seems harsh but you have to think of yourself and your own life, sometimes you have to be ruthless. Maybe if you do this she will back off a bit and you might eventually be able to have some kind of relationship, but be careful and put yourself first. Are you financially dependent on her? Do you live with her? If so, find a way to start supporting yourself so you can get away from her right away. If not, cut her off. You aren't required to be her parent, and it doesn't have to be your problem that she resorts to acting like a toddler when she doesn't get her way. Either way, you need to go low or no contact. Don't let her ruin your life. You are her emotional husband. That is extremely unhealthy for you, and not too good for her either. Think you should look into local support groups for widows slash widowers. Male version? I know, I know corona and restrictions, does not make it an ideal timing but still. She might not grieve the loss of her husband, but she does grieve the loss of what he should have meant for her. Second, she needs to find something in her life that gives it meaning and purpose again. New hobby, going back to an old hobby she had to give up for you, or giving back to society somehow. Anything that can help her define herself as someone more than a poor victim slash neglected mother. Third, you need to find and maintain some basic boundaries. Let her know them, and don't argue with her. If she gets angry, you leave. Tell her you love her and always will be her son but you don't want to baby her. Be careful though. She is abusive and you are probably not in the best mental state to stand up to her. I f18 feel like my brother 24 has stolen a significant part of my identity. I posted this same post about an hour ago but had to remove to add some points. I am youngest of four siblings and we all have always been very close to each other but after my eldest brother's marriage and my sister's shift to another state, me and my another brother grew even closer. Neither of us have moved out yet. I have always been very good at drawing but my skills improved very much in last several years. When I was 15 15 my brother asked me if he could send some of my sketches to a new girl he has started talking to, his intentions were only to impress her as she was into artistic guys. I, being a young girl whose parents only knew to appreciate grades and friends were not even aware that I draw. I only showed my drawings to my family because at that time I wanted to keep them a secret as I thought that these drawings were way too special for me to share. I know it sounds ridiculous, but that was my thinking as a 15 year old girl, I wanted appreciation for my work. I wanted people to see them and even if I showed them to friends, I thought it won't be enough for me. Plus as I just mentioned I did not want to share this part of me with people but still hungry for appreciation I allowed my brother to send them to that girl. She ended up loving it. Later they got into relationship and he would pay me to make her portraits. He would tell her that he made them. She also showed them to her friends and my brother got famous among their group of friends for being an artist. And I I must mention they had huge group of friends at university they went to. Then his friends would ask him to make portraits for them, he always managed to convince them that he can't do it in front of them because he can only sketch in his room with his pencils and all. He paid me for sketches and I would make them for him. He had several other girlfriends after that girl and I would make drawings for all of them. It's still continued to this day but now I feel so awful giving my drawings to him. He gets all the praises for them. My parents have forgotten that I even used to draw. They are always so busy to notice that it's me who draws. They think they are all his. He shows them to relatives, friends, everybody. He has made them a part of his personality. He is known as an artist of the family while I sit back and feel absolutely terrible for being such a loser. He still pays me for most of the drawings but I think all the money I have received from him till now is not worth it at all. I must mention that once I tried to bring up this topic to him, subtly conveying my message that I don't want to continue this, I asked him that if I want to impress people by showing off my work how will I be able to do it because nobody knows that it's actually me who draws. He replied that I am a pretty girl people get impressed by my looks and that I do not need to do anything else to impress others. He explained that it's not always about the looks but I think I could not get my point across. Now I do not know if I should just directly ask him to stop taking my work but I think that would be unfair. After all I myself allowed him to start this all plus 
plus he pays me. Plus I do not want to spoil our relationship. He is one of my best friends. He always has been my support. I do not want to ruin his reputation. But I cannot stop thinking how wonderful it would be if I could show them to people as my own. I regret it all now but I think it will be so rude to just tell him to end this now. I wish he just understands that I am very unhappy about this and stop without me asking. I am very stressed I in and just want to stop thinking about it. What do you guys think I should do now? Any advice would be appreciated. Too long didn't read. Older brother shows my drawings to people as his own but with my consent. I am now sad and stressed about it. You know most artists sign their work. You should start signing yours. Don't do it anymore. What's he going to do? Make you draw something? Start drawing on your own. Post the drawings to your social. And if you really want to be petty, say something like I've been doing a lot of commissions for my brother, but I'd be open to doing them for other people, too. You are not the person that lied. You will not be the person that ruins his reputation. Look up Margaret Keane sometime. It's not rude to end it. And you should, immediately. I'm shocked he asked you to do this when he was 21 and it's even more shocking that he's continued to do it for years. This is a lie I'd expect a middle schooler or an early high schooler to try to pull off for a few weeks. But for someone his age, it's very, very strange. He's absolutely going to try to convince you to change your mind because he's based a lot of his identity on a lie. Stick to your guns. It's your art and it's your identity. Don't allow him to steal it any longer. Honestly, I would tell your parents everything that has been going on and how it's making you uncomfortable. He manipulated you into doing this. There was no reason to keep passing off your work as his own and flex your talent as his. Cut him off from access to your work now. Next you gotta reclaim your art. You need to sit down with him and tell him there are no acceptable reasons for him to pretend he's the one who's an artist and manipulate you into letting him do it. Tell him he has a choice to tell his social circle that the artwork he's made was actually yours and that you deserve credit for it. Otherwise you will do it for him. If he refuses, I'd suggest gathering proof of your work. Maybe create a few similar art pieces that he hasn't displayed as proof that you are the original artist all along. Maybe video yourself doing a few pieces of art. Or speak about your old pieces, the time it took, what materials were used, details only the original artist would know. I'd suggest going first to trusted family and friends to get them on your side. Slowly you can then start posting the proof on social media and your artwork. Say something like your brother brother has helped people access your artwork but now you're ready to share that without him and you hope people come to you for future commissions. Good luck. He replied that I am a pretty girl people get impressed by my looks and that I do not need to do anything else to impress others. I explained that it's not always about the looks but I think I could not get my point across. This is just disguising. You do not have to give him your drawings, it's yours. He have asked you a favor when you were 15 and now he feels entitled. Also, he is one of my best friends. He always has been my support, I do not want to ruin his reputation. I am sorry to tell you that he is not thinking about you the same way, since he refused to stop and dismissed you with aforementioned sexist bullshit. I would take up this battle with him, because friendship is worth nothing without mutual respect and he is hindering your dreams. He has to learn to respect you and look at you as a person outside his own personal agenda. What a douche. I am sorry, but this was just a bit infuriating to me. I hope you peruse your passion in drawing and be soon able to proudly show it to the world, because you deserve it. I, 27M, asked out my friend, 29F, and it was seemingly well received. In the time being, she started hooking up with my friend yet is still trying to have dinner with me, spend time together, etc. How do I take a step back from this amicably? A couple things to preface this with, we should probably just get over this. And, we weren't dating or in any sort of grey area in between. We were slash our friends and that is where my feeling of resent stems from. It just seemed like such a slap in the face that could have been handled in a decent way. I have a friend who I know because we both do a lot of outdoor sports together and live in a mountain town together. We've gone on extended trips, different adventures, etc. Together and recently went on a week-long trip together where admittedly I developed a 
pretty big crush on her. After the trip we hung out a lot more, had lunch together a few times, had tea at her house. So I asked her if I could take her on a proper date and it was seemingly well received. It was along the lines of, I'm not trying to jeopardize a fun friendship, but I'd hopefully like it to be something more and was wondering if I could take you out to dinner or cook dinner for you one night. We planned on having dinner one night a few days away and things seemed pretty good. I had people to my house three days before we planned on doing dinner and it was pretty snuggly and fun but she had to go to work and eventually left but texted me after I can't wait to have dinner with you. During this, her and my other friend were planning a climbing trip for a week. It's off season in a mountain town and a lot of our friends are at outdoor spots together so this didn't even strike me as odd, leaving the day we were supposed to do dinner. I was totally into this because it was her last week before switching jobs to one that was more 9 to 5. Whatever, we'll just rain check to later, not a big deal. We had lunch the day before she left, it was nice, and she asked me about my friend cause she didn't know him too well, they just had a bunch of mutual friends. I said he was a real ladies man and she had a response along the lines of, oh weird, I don't really find him attractive at all. Now to this week since they got back from the desert. She calls me when they get back and we talk for a while on the phone until she asks if I want to get lunch the next day. I had meetings till 1 so we talked about doing lunch after that. I got a text at 12.30 asking about having lunch and responded half an hour later when I was out of meetings and heard nothing back till 6 saying oh sorry, I was out of service rock climbing with a friend. Whatever, kinda shitty, but she's a bad communicator and I know that so not a big deal. Today, I call my friend who went on the trip with her and she's in the background and says hi, come over for tea, let's do dinner too. So I go over there, and walk in as I usually do and her and my buddy are snuggling on the couch. I ask my buddy about it in private and he's like, yeah, this is happening. Now, it's not the biggest deal that I got rejected and my buddy got the girl. Can't be mad at him for that at all. What I am upset about is the nature in which I found out about it. It's like getting the rug pulled out from under you since it just kinda hits like a brick wall. One second you're having a great day, the next thing you know, the girl you've been trying to start a relationship with just rubs it in your face without even mentioning she started hooking up with your friend while you have been trying to reschedule having a date. Also, the friend she ditched me for lunch a few days before was my friend but obviously neglected to tell me that earlier. To add insult to injury, the plan of cooking dinner was still in the works and even though I should have just made an excuse not to partake, it was gonna be at my house, and I enjoy entertaining and cooking for people, so dinner was kind and on me. So, I cooked a nice dinner for them and my roommates and sat there fuming while she's trying to talk to me like there isn't an elephant in the room. She's still rubbing my back or shoulders when she goes by and I just deal with it. I want to distance myself from this temporarily because I'm a bit beat down from the whole situation. It seemed to be going well but then it turned into the orange in your throat feeling within a second. I'm not really too upset with getting rejected, it's more a feeling of resent for how it was thrown in my face. She asked if they could come over for dinner tomorrow night too, since I was prepping for it when cooking tonight. I want to say absolutely not. You lead me on, ditched me for lunch you planned, and were just incredibly intransparent and rude. I really don't want to see her, but don't know how to say fuck off for a bit because I need a week to decide if I really want to be friends with you at all. Should I really even try to be friends with her at all? Right now I don't want to because this is fresh in my mind but we are bound to see each other a lot because we share the same friend group. She's also still trying to go on multi-day backcountry trips with me but I just have no desire. How do I say please don't come over for dinner, even though you paid for it? because I currently don't want to put any effort into doing something nice for someone who would handle a situation with such lack of tact. Obviously because I was on the receiving end of it. Should I just send her the money it cost for ingredients and say I'm not doing dinner tonight? Too long didn't read. I asked out a friend of mine. She seemed to be all about it but we postponed going on a date so she could go on a trip and came back hooking up with one of my good friends. It's not the rejection that hurts, it's the fact that she shoved it in my face while concurrently killing me with kindness. I want to tell her I need some space and also to kindly fuck off for a little bit. I'm also unsure if I really want to be friends with her.